Welcome to another five minute marriage tips program. We're Paul and Carolyn from The Home Place. And we wanted to talk today about teamwork in the marriage. Oh. Sometimes it can turn into, I don't know if this has happened to you, it's happened to us, but sometimes it can be, man, I'm doing all the work. How, how come you're not doing anything? Which is obviously a false allegation, but we've all done it. Right. So, so how does it work in your home? Who does what? How did you figure that out? That's something we want to talk about today in a very practical way. Oftentimes the husband is out of work. Mm -hmm. I mean, not out of work, but out at, at work. work. <laughs> uh, sometimes he's out of work as well. And that, that's a whole different dynamic. Yeah. Um, and oftentimes, especially if there's children in the home, mom is at home and she's got the responsibilities of home, which is, right, a, which right. is a job and children. So, so then typically you would say that the guy is out at work and for the most part, the wife and mother is home doing the household duties. Yeah, now right. it's not always that way. I mean, but sometimes it can be switched. Yeah, yeah. but generally. Yeah. So we got to figure out who is going to carry what load here. Right, and I get asked the question from wives, so shouldn't my husband be at home helping me do some of this stuff? Shouldn't he have to do the dishes when he comes home? Or and, these kinds of things. And all the husbands said, what? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> so that is a real situation. Or should she do it all? Every last thing. That, that is a real situation. So mom's been at home mm -hmm. and she's been busy. Of course, the husband doesn't know what she's been busy with because he's not there and he doesn't have to do what she does. And he comes home tired and she's thinking, why has he been tired? He's just been, you know... Sitting in his office all day. <laughs> I've been running around this house after five kids. Right. So, you know, oftentimes what happens is, so the husband can come back and the house is a little bit of a, a disaster zone and the wife immediately wants his help. Hubby, can you change the diaper or can, can you just empty the dishwasher? And he's like, he comes in after a busy day hoping to, to crash a little bit and it's like, oh. Right, well, and then what ends up happening with this is it becomes a contention. Yeah. It's a fight, it's an argument. It can turn into a cold war and all kinds of stuff that we don't want in our marriages. So we're wanting to unpack that yeah. and make it practical. So how are we going to split? How are we going to be a team? How, how are Paul and Carolyn operating as a team? Um, well, I want to go to, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I knew you were going to jump in. That's why I paused. <laughs> I think she wants to say something. I really want to take us to Bible principle. Okay, and that yes. comes in Ecclesiastes 4 and verse 9. It says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. In, in other words, um, you can get more done if you work as a team than right. you could as two separate people. Right. You right. know, I've said this before on these programs. I used to play soccer. You know, and that's 11 boys trying to score a goal. And if we just, everybody just tries to do their own thing, it, it doesn't work. But if we're a team and we start passing things around, it, it, we can win. Right. So same in a marriage. Right, it is. And so we need another Bible principle. This one comes from Isaiah 118. It says, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. So in order to figure out how to get this teamwork to work, we're going to need to sit down and talk about it. Yeah. It's that simple. And when you start talking about it, what are you going to talk about? Well, I'm doing too much already <laughs> and you can't ask me to do anything else. It's, no, don't go there. That's not teamwork. That's self-preservation. Okay, well, so. I think the very first place to go is to figure out our strengths and yeah. our weaknesses. Yeah. So in our family, and I think we balance it out pretty well between us. Yeah, I'd say in, so. In our family, in our marriage, if I were to be the one, <laughs> we laugh about this, if I was the one that took over the finances, we would be flat broke. <laughs> flat broke or in jail, because we haven't paid any bills. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not a good, I'm just being honest, I'm not a good money manager. No, you're not, but so, you, you are getting better. But you are, a fan he is a fantastic money manager, and so that is why we aren't sunk, and we still have food in the cupboard. So, we're part of living in a home and being married is finances and shared finances and bills so I take care of pretty much all of that right. and you you don't and that's right. fine right. You know, that, now that having said us. that for a while we did you did everything finances wise and I just returned all the receipts yeah to that you. was a disaster that didn't work so now <laughs> he gives me a section of the budgets that I take care of and I as long as my head's above all is well yeah that's right <laughs> and that's just about as close as it gets 
Uh, another thing that, uh, for Carolyn and I anyway, and this might be the same for a lot of you, um, Carolyn loves to shop. I mean, to just, <laughs> just go and, and just go around the stores. I, to tell you the truth, I, I detest it. It's like after I've been in town, after I've been in two stores, it's like, can we go home now? It's like, sweetheart, you want to eat? Well, yeah. I think and this is a whole other story. This is a whole other program for another day. But my love language is gifts. And I think most people whose their love language is receiving gifts like to shop. Yeah. Not because they want to buy themselves lots of well, things, you, but you just enjoy doing that. And, and again, going back to I'm good at the finances, you're much better at shopping right. than I am. You have the patience to figure it all out. For me, it would just be, yeah, get this, get this, right, get this. Right. Get, but I wouldn't be able to do that because I got to balance the finances. No, and here's the funny thing. So I like to buy things, bring them into the home, and you absolutely love going to the <laughs> dump. As long as he can get the back of the car filled with trash and get it into the dumpster, he is so happy. I do, I do. <laughs> I, I understand the kick my wife gets out of coming home with all of her stuff. You know, as a woman. It's she, all stuff we need. Yeah, you know? yeah, we're talking about everyday stuff, but I get a real kick. I mean, I take care of all the trash. I go around all the different rooms and get the trash. Well, you do it sometimes yeah. as well. And put it in and I take the trash downstairs and I get it in the car. And when I get to the dumpsters, it's like, oh, what a joy. I just throw that in. It's like <laughs> And more the sad stuff part is for you is that usually when we go to the dumpsters, we're on our way to town. <laughs> <laughs> to get more stuff. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> But the, we're only sharing that because shopping's not a big part right, and trash yeah, is not a big yeah. part. But we're trying to illustrate teamwork and go with your strengths. Right. You might think, oh, I'm the one who has all the strengths. No, you're not. No, no that, there are a, areas we all have. Something I want to spin off from what we're talking about, the trash, is that when our children were in the home, we trained our children to learn how to do chores. And Caleb was... <laughs> Bless his heart. He always had trash. That was his. That was one of his things. And so after he flew the nest, and it changes when your children fly the nest. Yeah. All of a sudden now, nobody's doing gotta, the trash. You've got to go back to the drawing board and divvy out who's doing what. And I'd be like, I'd be like texting Caleb. You know, Caleb, you go and do the trash. He's living in Maryland. Like that's going to work. But and I say to him, uh, uh, I think now Caleb's gone. You should be doing the trash. And I think this. The, we're having a bit of a giggle here, but I think it brings out an important principle. If we are going to be a team, mm -hmm. we've got to have some give and take. Okay, if I haven't done the trash, wifey can come with... I don't have a meltdown. Let it all spill out but all you, over the but, floor. But you could. You could I say, could. sweetheart, the trash is not... You know, nobody's taking care of the trash. When are you going to do it? You know, I'm having to put stuff on the floor now. <laughs> she could have an attitude or she could say... You know, should I text Caleb or are you going to do this? And I yeah. have done that. I have said, <laughs> I'm just about to text Caleb to empty the trash because Daddy's not doing it. <laughs> Caleb's 22 and lives out of the home, you know, so it's just not going to happen. You know, happen. this teamwork actually, it can become, we can become really um, disturbed over the smallest of things and end up in a big fight in marriage over who didn't empty the trash and I'm not touching that thing and it's you know all it's not I mean, my job seriously you may think it's funny but that really happens in marriages yeah people end up doing that stuff and I don't and know it's unfortunate yeah I don't know probably you feel like you do you do your fair share if not extra but check with your spouse. You know, we were just talking about this before we got on the program. And I said, sweetheart, ask me, tell me honestly, do you feel like I do enough? And she said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got a job as well. And I'm happy to do most of the household stuff. And you do. Um, but I do what I can. I mean, I, I would love to do more, but, you know, it just doesn't happen. Right. And, and, you know, I think it also sends us to another dimension, and that is not everything we do is our favorite thing to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, tell me. Tell me. <laughs> and so if we're not careful, it can be like, well, I don't like this particular chore, so you do it. Right. Well, you know, we're all going to have to face real life, and that is in real life there are things we have to do that we don't enjoy. Yeah. And I'm being very vulnerable and real, and those people that know me know this already. The kitchen is my least favorite room of the home. Most ladies, it isn't that way. I don't know why it's that way for me, but it is. Now, does that mean I never go in there? Does that mean he cooks all his own meals and I never cook for him? No. no. <laughs> no I, Does I, that mean that I try to make chili last at least two days so I can have the next day? Two right? days? <laughs> Chili can last like four days in our house. I, and I've tried, I'm doing better at that, right? 
I'm trying not to have things go there, too many multiple there's days. Been, there's been a marginal improvement. Oh, no. it, it, it stems off of when she was cooking for the family and there was four mouths. Now we're down to two mouths. We've been down to two mouths for a long time, but she's still cooking for Well, you know, four. ladies, how that goes. But it's okay. So Carolyn's not... It's not my favourite place. It's not place. her favourite place, so I can't give her a hard time. Hey, sweetheart, where's my lasagna and where's my... All these complicated dishes. If I have to eat, you know, chilli for four <laughs> days, so be it, you know. I, I'll, I'll be fine. It's the way you said that if I have to, oh, poor me. <laughs> but there, and I'm sure there's things you do that's not your, f I know one. Vacuuming on Friday afternoon. He's agreed my... to be the guy that does the vacuuming on Friday. Which is, which is, uh, that sounds very heroic, but actually our home has mostly wood floors. <laughs> <laughs> so I've only got to do the rugs. It takes about, you know, five Two or minutes. ten minutes. Oh, ten minutes now. Oh, ten minutes well, if I do a thorough it. job. Because oh, I go okay. around and I get all the flies off the windowsill right. and do right. the cobwebs and everything. So it's a bit more than the rugs. Right. But, you know, it's not my favourite thing to do, but... Yeah, and the other thing is, um, sometimes you're tuned into something. So I'm tuned into flies. Um, sometimes I wonder if Carolyn isn't. Sometimes I wonder if she needs to get new glasses or something because it's like, uh, so I just take care of it. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, Teamwork. I mean, there are some We're things in this that, together. Well, there are some things we talk about and we kind of make a, a decision, but the flies would be one that we haven't talked about. <laughs> We've we been very in honest home, with this burger. In a log home, fly season is a real thing. So you may have hunting season where you live. We have fly season in a log home. There's fly a log season? I thought that was fishing. No, there, there's that. <laughs> oh, no. You know, we really need to be able to also see it from where the other person is standing. So, you know, when you come home from work, guys, and she's sitting there, she, and you don't know that she's absolutely wiped out, and she's about ready to pass out because she's been dealing with little people all day long. Yeah. And you don't know when you walk through the door, that's how it is. And when you walk through the door, she doesn't know that you've been, you know, your boss has hauled you over the coals and you're, you've had a really bad day. So we need to communicate and find out, reason together, find out what's been going on. This is simple from Galatians, and yeah. it really sums up what we're trying to say. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ, the, mm -hmm. the law of love. Carry each other's burdens. Right. Don't let this, that's not my job, that's not my right. department. Right, well, that's what the children would say. I'm not doing the dishes, I did that yesterday. Yeah, so the children are doing that, and we're giving them a hard time because we can see the patheticness of, yes. you know, I did it yesterday, but how often can we end up with the same kind of spirit in our marriages? And we like, can end up walking over something that's on the floor because I didn't put it there, and he shouldn't have dropped it there, so I'm not going to touch it. And it... Yeah, it's just sad. It's unfortunate. Now, I want to do a practical um, I was, I example. Was just, I was just, yeah, you can do that. But I was just thinking of five minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry, tips. people. But we get really engaged in what we're talking about. Maybe we need to change the title to 15 10 minute or 25 tips. minute marriage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's just a title. Maybe you Don't can worry. let us know what we need to change it to. But I just wanted to use a scenario really quickly. So, you know, husband has been out at work all day, he's exhausted. He comes home to a wife who's absolutely frazzled. She's had some major stuff to do with the children. And in the kitchen is a sink piled so high of dirty dishes, there's not even any clean dishes to eat out of. So what do you do? Does the husband sit down and put his feet up and say, I've been at work all day, that's your problem. Do you go out to eat instead? <laughs> if you go out to eat instead, that, that, that's, that, well, it solves that immediate problem, but actually it doesn't because next morning when he's left for work, that sink Still of dishes there. didn't go away. Yeah. And what we would really, what we have done, and I think is the best solution to how to solve this problem is you tackle that sink together. And, and it's done in, in a flash because you're both on it. Yeah. <laughs> I know for Carolyn and I <clears throat> that when I'm done with work, um, my brain is shot mm -hmm. and so if I come home and the first thing I've got to do is deal with difficulties you know like um, disciplining the children or whatever that's like oh, it's almost like but if you ask me to, you know, go and clean the windows or something, that that yeah, oh, that's frees up my brain. Right, right. Well, I wouldn't be super excited about cleaning the windows. That's one job I do do. That is home. a job I you clean do. The windows. Yeah. Have you ever cleaned the windows? No. You do the mirrors in the house. Yeah. I'm supposed to do that, but I never get to it. <laughs> that's right. Um, you know, we have to have that give and take, realizing that we're a team, we're in this together. It's not I'm doing this, what are you doing? Or I'm not touching that because that's your thing. It's 
being considerate and compassionate with one another, bearing one another's burdens, helping each other out. It's just a different outlook, yeah. I think. And this isn't in the notes, but uh, just wanted to mention, if you are just absolutely frazzled, you can't figure out, there's always too much to do, and you, maybe you've got too much on your plate. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe if you've got the finances, you, you need to hire somebody else to do some of those things. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But, you know, just the point of this program was just to, to get our viewers to think about, okay, how do we operate in the marriage with chores in the home? Um, so this is an opportunity. You've watched the program. Think it through. Maybe. And I want to challenge you to ask each other, how is it? Yeah. How is it working? Do you for feel you? like you're Do overloaded? you feel like I do enough? Just like you asked me, do you feel like I do enough? Are you okay with chili for three days? <laughs> you know, ask. <laughs> we have this conversation. So ask, be upfront and ask each other and don't and be humble because yeah, I have to be humble about the fact that the kitchen isn't something I'm delighted about. But of course I go there because I love my husband. Does he look like he's withering away? I don't think so. No, I'm actually trying to lose a few pounds <laughs> at the moment. So hey. he's doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, God bless you. Thank you for watching and uh, let us know how it goes, you know, as you discuss these things, if it resolves anything. Um, and go to the website if you want to contact us. You can email, you can make a phone appointment, you can reach out to me on all kinds of places. WhatsApp, Signal, Threema, Telegram, you name it. <laughs> I'm just... I'm good old email. And good old email. I'm going everywhere that the people are because that's why I want to be where, there for you. So whatever works for you is a way you can communicate here. And if this video has been a blessing to you, hit share and right. share it you know in messenger and subscribe or to our youtube, YouTube channel yeah. if you're watching this on youtube anyway god, god bless, bless this you. is paul and carolyn from the home place